Oh. Well, I've had a few questions about crabs on the farm, so I thought I'd um, pass on a bit of what I do anyway. We've got two buckets of crabs. These are all my softbacks, which are all a bit... You've got to keep them separate from your peelers, really, because this is what happens. They end up getting crushed and knackered, especially if the jelly's soft. When they've just, when they've just peeled, you get one like him. He's quite soft still, but he's uh, pretending to put a bit of a fight up. That'd be a good uh, smooth down break of that. So these, what I consider my peelers that I'm ready to use or freeze down, and these are my peelers that I'm going to try and bring on a little bit. They're not quite ready. They are peelers, but what I call a bit green, a bit aggressive still. They'll go for you when you annoy them <laughs> like they are here. But they are still peelers, but if you look at the shells, they are still quite a hard crab. Whereas if you look at the peelers that are ready to go, like this one here, He's just about popping his shell now. I'd say he's almost gone a little bit too far, to be honest. But he's still usable. Another one there. Just about popping his shell. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you could, that's ready to use. Ready to freeze down. Whatever you want to do. Another one there. I don't know if you can see that. It's just when you squeeze the shell, it just feels they just feel slightly softer than the hard crab. And what the, what it is is the excrete. Um, that was that was well gone. That one. The excrete uh, a substance which basically thins the existing shell so they can use it on the shell that they're forming underneath the existing shell. So that feels still quite hard. That's a good that's a, what I call a green one, that go in that bucket. And the soft back there. Now that's a good one. That's a good example. This crab here, the shell, see that then? The shell is quite soft. Thin, not soft, thin. That's ready. To pop, it's easy to peel. Yeah, look, look at that, it's just coming away very easily. And you can tell on the sides as well if you squeeze the sides, squeeze the sides there, it's all just ready to come off, ready to peel. So that's ready. That's that's a prime, prime bait, I'd say. Either freeze it down or use it as bait. If you leave them too long, they just end up going like that, popping. You can still use them, they're not bad. In fact, they're a good bait to use on the day. But I, I just think they're, they're almost a soft bag when they've gone that far. I'll try and get them somewhere in between. One's making a run for us. So, these crabs that are quite green still, what I would do, I would bring them on, give them a drink of water and uh, keep them in somewhere slightly warm and try and bring them on a little bit. These crabs that are ready to peel, just about popping out of the shells, if you want to keep them for a few days, I'd keep them in the fridge. In fact, these are out of the fridge actually. And they'll stay a little bit you can keep them a little bit longer. That's a green one, quite aggressive. I'll put them in that bucket there to bring him on. A few soft backs in there. I can feel a smooth down session coming on, boys. I hope this helps you. Catch you later.